This is the um, podcast and social hour. I'm here with Eric and Michelle. And Michelle, and we're just going to have a nice conversation here, and we're going to talk about things and our um, our um, week and what the things going on. I thought maybe what would be good to um, start us off with is um, maybe talk about what our favorite instruments are. And so, um, Michelle or Eric, what, who, which one do you want to go first? Drums. You like the drums? And wh- why, why do you like the drums? You could beat on them. You could beat on them. What about you, Michelle? I like the trombone. You like the trombone? My dad plays the trombone. Oh. So he always, I always sit here practicing when I was a kid, and now my son plays. I like the um, like electric guitars, and I like, uh, um, I like um, the, I like uh, the um, saxophone. I like drums as well. I also like cello. I like it's it. really a beautiful like the instrument itself is beautiful mm-hmm. and the sound is beautiful my oldest daughter plays cello I like ch- I like cellos I like a lot of I like violins I like a lot of there's this one woman um, who plays the violin I can't remember it's like she mixes ballet and 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 um, and playing the um, violin together in like like she turns it into a dance and I, I, it, it's just very, it's very beautiful. It's, can't remember her, her, her name, but <laughs> when she first, um, you know, appeared, she, she went on to that one show, America's Got Talent. I remember seeing her. Uh, she got like the, the, they said, they really didn't know what to do with her. They, they said, they said, uh, I forget what they said, but. They didn't really care for her, but, but now she's very popular. I mean, she's not, I mean, she's, she's doing, you know, concerts and things like that. And she's been, she made a lot of YouTube videos. Um, well, they had somebody on there once that did the same kind of thing with trombone. He made it into like a performance instead of just like standing there and playing. He did all kinds of other. Yeah. Um, I like, um, I like a lot of, there's a lot of string instruments, but I do, I know my, one reason I like the, I like the, the, the way the saxophone, sax, sax, I can't say that now, <laughs> saxophone sounds, but, um, one of my favorite Star Trek characters, he is a big he he plays the saxophone and also I like jazz. I don't know if any of you guys listen to jazz. Not I, really. No. I mean I don't mind it, but I don't listen to it. Um Okay. So what did you guys do this week? Anybody do anything interesting? <laughs> Not really. Me either. Me either. Did you? What about your? How's your little doggy doing? Uh, He's doing good. Still getting big. Still growing. <laughs> Still planning on to dressing him up as your your uh, beanie baby. Well, I don't know because the county board is doing that trunk or treat. Mm-hmm. And I think I'm going to decorate my car and do that. Okay. And I think I'm doing a superhero theme, so he might have to be Batman. (laughs) (laughs) That would be... Oh, that would be cute. He's adorable. uh, That reminds me, I forgot I had something to give you, and I I remembered it, but then I for... But then this morning, and then I forgot it. So, um, 
<sighs> but, um, Show Eric my puppy. Have you seen her dog? Uh -huh. Oh, cute. He is a cutie. His name's Masa. There was this beauty baby costume. <laughs> now, in those little heart things, they, they they usually say something. What what were you gonna put in the the Art. I was going to write a cute little poem, but I didn't. Oh. <laughs> Maybe before next year. Yeah. Because they always had a poem, like, you know, about the Beanie Baby when you would get him. Or, like, um... It would say, like, his name and his birth date, and then it would say some cute little catchy little poem. Yeah. Or, like, this, this Beanie Baby is dedicated to something of this year. I'll be back. Okay. You could write one for me. <laughs> to put in this tag. <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah. So, uh, did we leave off at? We were talking about instruments. And, yeah. Um, and then I asked, uh, what did everybody do this week? And, um, I haven't been doing anything too interesting. I've just been working on um, videos and things like that. I've been um, editing videos and uh, uh, learning more about that. And um, You're getting pretty good at it. Yeah. I'm going to go eventually up on that. I'm going to go talk to uh, somebody on the hill about that. I'm going to probably buy a uh, better editing program or there's this one I can't remember the name of it that is good I guess they say it's good for capturing screen images some uh, of them sound good until we tried to work with them and then <laughs> they weren't as easy as they made them sound well this is what I did was the, the program I've been working with now is um, that video editor. And you know, if it's just sound, if it's just a record like audio, it, it, it goes by seconds, right? Mm -hmm. So what I do is I, and then I find, I, I find where it says, oh, okay, it says there's 48, minutes in this so I go and I say I go to Google I say how many how many seconds are in that so then I can put in there that amount of minute and the seconds well, that's what when we were working on it I was doing that I was but I was using my calculator and taking 60 times however many yeah. minutes to figure out how many seconds it was uh, how's your brother? He's doing pretty good. That's good. Um, uh, um, no, but yeah. Uh, have you read any? Anybody read any good books lately? I have. Been. I haven't read anything lately. Me either. There's books that I want to get into. Read. I got some in my queue that I want to read. There's um, actually one I heard about. I want. I'm probably. I want to put in there. Well, I'm going to be reading Dune now, mm -hmm. <laughs> so I can see what it happens. It is a very. I, I'm telling you, it was a very good book. I remember. I remember. I remember watching the um, original Dune book. Not the book, but the original Dune movie from the from the 80s and um, 
Does it stop in the middle of the story? No, too? no, they just it just goes all the way through, and it's on HBO Max. Oh, I'll have to watch that then, maybe before I read the book. It's very, but but they cut a lot of stuff out, and and they change a lot from what the book oh. is. Well, you would have to cut stuff out if it's twenty one hour book. Yeah. And um, how thick is the book? The actual book. It's pretty thick. It's pretty thick, and and, and I, well, first of all. When the book first came out, it was in a magazine, and then it was released over several issues, and then it was compiled into one mm-hmm. book. And then he released, Frank Herbert's the author, by mm-hmm. the way, he released three other, two other books, and then, I wanna say after he died, after he died, his his son and this other man wrote three other books, and they've been the ones I think been the ones that have been um, writing the book so far. Like, uh, well, let me ask you this: Did you have any favorite part of of the movie that you watched, or? Well, really, or did you? All that happened in the movie is they just kind of developed the characters. Not really a lot of plot happened, and I enjoyed the characters that they picked for the roles. They fit like it was very believable and really, you know, got you involved in the story. And I don't know. I liked the concept of like all these different groups of people that were like warring against each other because everybody the different houses had their own little well they didn't really get into the houses a lot it was like the desert people the Furman yeah and then it was like then the other people but then there were all these houses but then if they like the emperor didn't like this house then he actually made them in charge so that people would want to take them down which was a weird Mm -hmm. concept you know like well it was a way of like okay, it, what it, what it was he was eliminated his enemies that way. Yeah, it was like okay, he knew that House Harkonnen uh, was um, had been feuding with um, how House Atreides for Atreides. centuries, or well, not centuries, but you know, decades, and so. Uh, it's a minute till 40. So. Okay. Well, it was nice to see you. Nice to see you. Are you going to come on Wednesday to the trick or trunk? What? Are you coming on Wednesday to the up on the hill for the trick or trunk? Probably. But, um, me, I'm, I liked it. I, from what I've seen in the trailers, I liked the, uh, the suit designs, I like the, uh, I like the characters. I mean, that one, they've, they've changed gender roles in some of the people. Like, um, oh, what's her, that, that, that African woman who was that, Ch- Ch- Chaney's, Chaney's mother? I think yeah. it was that that was actually the 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 ecologist. Okay. You know who I'm talking mm-hmm. about? In in the book, that was a man. Hmm. That's interesting. And um, I don't think it would have mattered mattered no. to me either way because yeah. it was a pretty like straightforward character. Yeah. So I don't, I don't. it served its purpose regardless. You know, I didn't really. I don't care either way, but I do. I do appreciate them. Also, like after finding out this, in the book they did see in the the eighties the movie, um, a lot of the a lot of the characters they were um, light skinned people, mm. and if you if you let's just say if you were raised on a, a desert planet. Or, or something like that. You, I think you're going to develop thicker pigment. Maybe. 
I, I, uh, but if they're all covered up all the time and not really exposed to the elements, you may not. I, I don't know. I think their suits could only block out so much UV. I mean... Yeah. Um, but, but no, I mean... But he, I think even in the... Even in the book, it describes them as having, is, is having darker, complected skin. It makes it interesting, though, because since the people from the desert are the darker skin, mm-hmm. it makes it really easy to, you know, tell who's who when you're mm-hmm. watching, because you pretty much know, like, obviously this is an outworlder or whatever they call him, because yeah. he's very fair complected. What did you think of the blue eyes? I liked that a lot. Did, did you get why they had the blue eyes? I didn't know exactly why. Is it something because of their um, powers they have or whatever? It's the spice. Mm. It's, the, it's the spice. It's the melange. It's the... Well, that makes sense because eventually he, he dreams of himself having mm-hmm. the blue eyes. Yeah. So if he lives there around the spice, then that would make sense that he would Yes, it's uh have the blue eyes too. And uh, did you um did you see the uh okay, the Bene Gesserits, you know, I don't know if they said if they if they called them that mm-hmm. and the how they're t- if they're talking about the breeding program. I don't know, I just know, like, so you pay a lot more attention to details of the story. I just watch for the fun story. Well, I've but been, I've been... I've, following it for years. Yes. <laughs> well, the, um, I know that one time they correct his mother because he, she was only supposed to have girls. She was supposed to... And so to, I was like, as if she can control that, but apparently she could. Yes, yes, they can control <laughs> what gender their child is going to be. They can also usually control their aging. Okay. They can slow it down a bit. Well, it was interesting because they blamed her like, oh, how arrogant of you to think that you could if you would birth be... the one. Yes. And <laughs> apparently she did. <laughs> yeah. She did in the... Well... So it doesn't seem so arrogant now. <laughs> technically... Technically she did, and then technically she didn't, because going into the later books, like the third book, no, not the third book, the the sixth book in the series, I think it was, because there's, um, there's Dune, then there's Heretics of Dune, then Children of Dune, and then... Um, God, Emperor's Doom, and then, and then God, Emperor's Doom, are and Children of Doom, um, see, um, he, um, Paul and that Cheney, they have children. Hmm. I think in the book they have three, but the one. The one child is assassin is is murdered, but they have twins later. She ne- he never officially marries her, like just like just like his mother. But yeah, I thought that was weird because they didn't really like talk about that much. There was just one side comment where he says, "Oh, I should have married you," like, and it's like, oh. Well, they were always together. I just assumed that they were married. No, he was, she was a concubine. But, yeah, and that's, you know, like, they said things like that, but it was like, well, they were very disrespectful people, so you just thought they were just being disrespectful. And so without knowing the backstory, I didn't really understand until he made that comment that, oh, I thought they were married. No. No, she sh- he should have married her. I mean, it, it, I mean he, she, he really loved her, and... And, uh, no, I, I definitely would give the book a read it's more. But it's like he was, like, like he kind of somehow knew his fate, too. Mm-hmm. In that, you know, conversation you kind of read in. Which I don't want to spoil it too much in case somebody's listening that hasn't seen. 
Yeah. Um, but it made me wonder when you said that they did it in the 80s and did it badly. It makes me wonder what other movies they'll redo that will be better, like with the books. Because I thought, like, Hunger Games. Uh-huh. The first one especially, I thought there were just a lot of really critical things in the book that just made the story make sense Mm -hmm. that they messed up when they did the movie and so if you hadn't read the book some of the stuff was like like I was really upset after the first one everybody was like oh this is a brilliant movie and I'm like well apparently you never read the book yes (laughs) because I was really upset by how they handled some of the things that and it didn't matter necessarily in that specific movie but in the long term it changed the story and you know that bothered me that there were things that you know you missed out on pieces of like why how she got the pen or why she had the pen or why it was important because Mm -hmm. it was just kind of a thing that just kind of she had and she gave it to her sister and her sister gave it back to her and whatever but that's not really what happened and then you lost the importance of it and the value of it yes and like especially um like um you were mentioning the pen, and I was thinking of that um, that scene in the book. I don't know if it was the third book or the... Wait, there's only three, right? Yep. Maybe it was the second one or something. You know where they beat... Um, oh, what's his name? Gail. Uh, Gail. They beat Gail really bad, and uh, they, they took him to his mom's house, her mom's house, to get him... Um, treated and that in the mayor's daughter brings them that um they call it morphling yeah in the book and um and in the movie they don't really ever describe how they got it or something i think no i didn't i didn't like that well, I thought there were a lot, which I know, like, you can't put all the details in. Mm-hmm. But some, like like the Harry Potter books, which I don't think you've read those. No. But I've read all of them, and I've watched the movie. And the story is still true to the book. There are details you get in the book that you don't get in the movie. So, like, when you're watching the movie, there are things that you can tell people in the theater that, like, read the books because they laugh at things that other people don't laugh at. Mm-hmm. Because you know the background of why that happened from the book. But it still was true to the story. They left out stuff, but they didn't change things. And for me, that's okay. But when they changed it, like in you know the Hunger Games, mm-hmm. it's like that wasn't really okay to me because it's like, well, now it's kind of like a different story. And there were things that to me seemed really important. Like maybe, again, like I said, not in the first movie, but it seemed like you needed to know why that happened or how that happened to understand why things were happening how they were in the third movie. And so it's like, but if you change that in the first one, then some of the things that happened later didn't make sense because they had changed the storyline. I mean, I don't know if they're saying, uh, uh, I mean, it it was also, you know, like the Marvel stuff, like Marvel and and, and DC movies that they've made, they they try to make them for, they were trying to make them for everybody, not the like the diehard fans. I mean, I know you you say you're a fair weather <laughs> fan and stuff, but uh, I mean, which it's sort of okay because because it, even in the comic books, like every five years or so, they are are so many years they they um, they reboot it or they you know they they retcon something. Which it's okay, it's okay, but you know sometimes when when they're gonna put it on screen, I can see how some fans can get uh, very offended, and it's because they do it for money and they change the story to reach the masses, and then they kind of like write out the hardcore yeah. fans. Just just like um, okay okay just just recently uh i don't want to get too political or whatever this is going to sound (laughs) sound like here but just recently superboy the new superboy which is actually the son of um superman and lois okay in the comics um 
he comes out, they, they say he comes out like he's bisexual. And, and, um, and uh, you know why they did it? <laughs> it doesn't follow the story. I mean, there's, there's no real basis to do that in the story. I mean, if you're going to put something in, in, in the, for the character to, to, to make, to, because, oh, because also he put this in, in the, like in the headline, Superboy is this, they're going to be thinking it's, they're, they're going to, a lot of the, you know, the people who don't know will like, Superboy, they're going to be thinking, oh, it's this other character. You know, when they hear that name, mm. but no, it's not Superboy. It's, I don't even know what his name is. Well, but now they're making so many different things. And now that, like, I guess Disney and whoever owns whatever. Mm-hmm. Um, and then Disney has some kind of deal, I guess, with HBO, apparently. I don't know, for the Marvel stuff. Because, like, they're doing the Teen Titans. Have you watched any of those? I've, the been, new Titans? Pl- I've been planning to watch them. I got, uh, I got, I even have the first season on DVD. Well, the language is, mm, and a lot of the scenes are very adult, like, mm. very adult. Um, so I was like, you know, not the kind of thing you want to be watching with your kids in the room or something. Well, but, your um, kids are adults. Yeah, I don't even want to watch that with my adult kids. Um, <laughs> well, <laughs> I've not watched, um, I've not watched, um, teen, the Teen Titans, but I have been watching. The Titans on HBO. Yeah, I haven't been watching those. That's the one that I just finished the third, third season. But I have been watching um, Doom Patrol. Okay, I've watched that. It's on HBO Max, too. It's, or it might be on HBO, too. I don't know. Um, but, yeah, watching that. Um, like, they is. have a Superboy in it, too. Mm-hmm. But that, that, that Superboy is not the same because that Superboy was made in the lab, and it's half Lex Luthor and half superman yeah that that's how that's how that 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 is one version of superboy that i did that wasn't a comics well we went to um comic-con which has been years ago um one of the panels we sat in on was like um about batman Mm -hmm. and they talked about like they had some of the writers from like way back Mm -hmm. And then they talked about that some, how, you know, they're constantly refreshing to keep a new audience. And, you know, how, like, even, like, on TV, you know, like, my Batman that I remember from when I was a kid, and the pow, and the (laughs) wham, and the, you you know. You mean, like, what, in the 60s or 70s? No, 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 no. No, you you grew up in the 80s, right? Yeah. But, like, um. But you watched, what, reruns Probably reruns of Adam West. Adam West. And so, you know, like, I remember the Adam West, the cheesy, like, and the background music and a little swirly, you know, like, when mm-hmm. they change scenes and the, you know, all the, like, pow and wham and bang. And, you know, it's like, and then now it's like, I'm Batman, you know, and it's like this big, dark, you know, <laughs> yeah. kind of half evil kind of, you know, really, like, mysterious, you know. And it's like, there's nothing mysterious about Adam West, you know, he was there to save the day and, you know, it's like, you know, just how much that's changed. And it's like, sometimes you think like, well, that's a little bit sad, but then other times you do think like, it really is for profit. So they have to keep it relevant or people aren't going to keep spending their money on it. Yeah, me, I don't, I watched, I did watch when I was a kid, I watched a bit of that Adam West show. Um, My kids wouldn't get through one episode. They'd be so bored because they're so used to, like, such advanced special effects. Even, like, on the Star Wars, a lot of people don't mm -hmm. like that they're remaking them. But it's like, if you look at, like, the old ones, they're really kind of cheesy. Like, I always joke, you can almost see the strings moving the spaceships, you know. Even (laughs) know that, even though, um, uh, what's, uh, what's his name, the guy who made Star Wars? Lucas. At Luke, George Lucas. George Lucas. He he had he kept going back, and he would he would redo it. You know he would. He yeah, was, they re-enhanced him a lot of he, times. Yeah. 
but but in the um, later yeah in the later ones like the 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 new ones he um, th- th- there there were some what what's called practical effects like people in suits and stuff yeah and I mean I enjoyed that well and they went back and when they remastered some of them like things like okay so Boba Fett moves or not Boba Fett um oh the big blobby guy Java the Hutt Java the Hutt moves now yes. instead of just sitting you know and that does enhance the scene mm-hmm. I mean but some things and then this is cool like I saw an interview and he was talking about you know some things that they always saw they just didn't have the technology to do yeah they went back and you know that's always how that scene was supposed to play out you know mm-hmm. and so in in his mind you know then he could go back and make that happen and so that's cool but some things they've changed so much in the like they don't even stick to the stories anymore they just kind of make up their own story and like good luck well okay what well you were mentioning that what do you think about um them um like some sometimes these like companies will go back and they will sort of censor certain things like like you know when you were a kid it said this and and now i said this or or like in et you remember in et they were they were holding rifles when that bike thing went by now they're holding (laughs) walkie-talkies i haven't seen that that's interesting and um are there certain words there's there's one thing in i um you know lilo and stitch Mm -hmm. um something about i think it's either a washing machine or an oven but they took it out of of um of the like if you go on disney plus and you watch lilo and stitch um i think somebody hides in a washing machine and they took that part out because they're probably afraid of getting sued if some kid yeah dies in a washing machine yeah or an oven but I don't think it was an oven. I thought it was just, it just looked, it just looks like a, a cabinet. That's funny. But yeah, and... Um, well, and I do think that some things have to change because some words, their meanings change. Yes. And that's definitely, you know, a thing because we've talked like my great-grandma, I can remember, like she lived to be almost 102 and so I can remember, you know, conversing with her from That's like, impressive. you know, a whole different time to be born, you know, when there's no electricity and to live through seeing, you know, people on the moon, <laughs> you know, that's a pretty huge, I mean, yeah. I don't know that any of us will ever see that kind of advancement in our lifetime, Yeah. but like words that she used, like gay, you know, or like, uh-huh. you know, was just like, he was very happy Yes. and you know, words that she used that didn't have anywhere near the same meaning. And I can remember being like a teenager or young, you know, and just like almost giggling when she would use those words because it's like you know obviously she doesn't know what those mean you know but it was just like so some things I do think have to be changed because Mm -hmm. you know like they wouldn't make sense to people if you watched it now um but on the other hand some things I think they just change for you know political agenda not to you know Um, be too yeah conspiracy theorist like also like they say in other countries certain words mean different things like i remember when um the dino bots were going to be in transformers and one of the dino bots they had they changed his name his name was originally um slag yeah slag and you know that in the u.s that just means i think molten metal like drippings of molten metal but in i guess in Europe, it means something bad, mm. but but I guess in but the, it it means that there too. But it also means something else. It does sort of sound like it's a slang word that people. Yeah, mean. yeah. That's I've read, heard that in an interview from J.K. Rawlings on the Harry Potter books. She said that she had to change some things because, like when like school uniforms, like she wanted to call them like 
I think it was jumpers or rompers. But if you think of that, you know, you think of some person walking around almost like in like a, you know, super casual, like, you know, around in the U.S., you think of like a jumpsuit kind of, you know, real casual yeah. kind of jumpsuit kind of thing. You, I, first thing that I thought of was something you put a, like a baby in. Right, like footy, like footy pajamas or something, yeah. you know, like we think like, you know, sleepwear and or like real casual maybe just around your house kind of you know thing like and so like she had to change some of those words when they released it in the U.S. to make it make sense for us to you know know that it was really a school uniform and not like a Mm -hmm. pajamas (laughs) I'm like that's interesting and I know when we were in London was we were excited because we're like well we speak the same language so we'll be able to understand yeah but we would try to talk to the person at the desk, and my husband wanted a washcloth because they oh. only had towels in the hotel room. And he's like, I need a washcloth. And we could not get them to understand. They just kept giving us hand towels. <laughs> and he was like, no, I need to wash my face. And they just kept giving him hand towels. So he ended up the whole time we were there. Like, he had how, to wash with hand towels. How big did you, how big did you, like, did you want a big one or a little one? Well, he just wanted to wash his face, you know. So he's like, I just want, you know, like, he's trying to show them, you know. Like and, a little square towel. And he just wanted a washcloth. And they kept, you know, giving him, giving us more towels. Like big towels. Like hand towels, like you would put in your bathroom, you know, like maybe, you know, I don't know, just like. Oh, that is big. Not like the size of a bath towel, but like, you know, definitely like bigger than what you would wash yeah. yourself with. And he just couldn't, we could never seem to communicate that. And there were just little things that it's like, you would think since we speak the same language, we'd be able to say something like basic and communicate it, but we could not ever. We, Did he ever just, just break down and say, I, I would like something to wash my face? Just yeah, he said that. Small thing. Okay. And we ended up going to a um, home goods store and buying washcloths. <laughs> they called them face cloths. Face cloths. But we bought some and wonder ended up leaving them at the hotel because what do you do with wet? I don't know. Washcloths. I wonder what they call something you, you like, do you, do you? I just usually when I when I go into the shower and I take a towel, I just say the towel, you know. Do they do they call them bath towels or do they call them shower towels? Just towels, I guess. But towels weren't a problem. We had lots of towels because that's what they kept giving us. We couldn't mm. get a washcloth. Oh, uh, so it is just. An... So I understand. Like I guess our original topic was, you know, that they changed things from when we were younger but I think they have to because I think the way we use words change mm-hmm. but then some things again like you said with the Superman thing I hear super boy super boy some of that's just politics yeah or they want to make things ever since 2016 or even before that there's been like this there's I don't know do you remember the Ghostbusters movie that came out that year? With the girls? Yeah. That was a total flop. For See, it didn't bother me. I watched it. It was okay. I did. I, I haven't watched it. I won't <laughs> watch it. I, it wasn't bad. It's just... A lot of people didn't like it. Well, if you were comparing it, it wasn't the same. It was a different movie. You can't compare it to the same... I didn't go in thinking it was a remake or anything. I just went in thinking it was just a fun other version of... Well, some people thought, you know, like, this is a... um, This is... This is a um, sort of a smack... Smack in the face with the... um, To the original, like... Mm, I didn't think that. And then... But but then, okay, all right, all right. but, But here comes the big issue. They knew that this movie wasn't going to do well, so what they, but what people did, what, but the like the producers and everybody did. They said, if you don't go see this movie, if you don't like this movie, you are. They, they call this xenophobes, you know, like saying you're you're a bunch of sexist or you're mm. or you're or you're. Um, 
So mm-hmm. they basically use that as their marketing. They, they try strategy. to bla- they try to blackmail people into to watching it and stuff, like saying you're a bad person if you don't. But I think we went through a while where we're still kind of there, where everything yes. is about like, because I even thought like at the on the end game, the Marvel's end game. Yes. I was sad at the end that you know it's like yay, women save the day, but I thought they really forced that so hard. And I'm like, it's okay it that, that it happens, but it just seemed like it was forced so hard. Why couldn't we all work together to save mm-hmm. the world? You know, it's like we had to just like force this to be. And I was like sad that like Captain Marvel was like barely even like she showed up to do the girl bed at the end, you know, and, and that was like, yay. And I'm like, oh, come on, you know, you can't just throw in characters at the end because they're women, you know, mm-hmm. if they're not part of the plot, they're not part of the plot. You know? yeah. like, I mean, she showed Captain Marvel, she shows up at the beginning of in the game she fights a little bit with Thanos at I don't know his farm all I kept thinking is I want her job she made a lot of money for just a couple scenes I'm sure (laughs) yes yes nobody cares for her nobody cares for her and what I mean is I don't not care I'm neutral but I don't feel passionate excited about her like I'm not gonna go and buy her merchandise and well see that's what it is nobody wants to buy her merchandise because it's, it's not because every merchant, all the merchandise has her face on it, and they, they don't mind. It's not the character. It's well, Matt. We probably should be wrapping up. Okay. Well, thanks for. Well, well, thanks for uh, stopping by today, Michelle. Well, it was good to see you. You too.